Malaysia, we're going to be potentially having a bad news if we're going to change government because it's very unstable. You have 1116 to uh, 1096. That means the current prime minister is not very, very strong, not very, very firm. And they're going to have like a uh, pass with Amno wanting to play with Azmin or playing with this. And then Pakatan side do not know who's going to become the representation of the prime minister. So you have all these different bad news that's making the country not very stable, which means these are all great opportunities for us to look out for. If you got some cash, make sure you hold the cash so that when that shit happens, you will be able to look and go in. Because why? You should already know which are those companies with strong fundamentals in your watch list. And when some shit really happens, get in there and be confident that it's going to come back up. Why? It's not because the company just lost all their customers or they just don't have business anymore. It's just a moment of shake that everybody is moved and we just need to be calm with the situation. So I love to enjoy doing what it is because why at the end of the day, I just love being right about my predictions or my analysis of the situation. Money is beside the point. It's just exciting to be able to analyze the situation and be able to predict what actually happens. That's more exciting for me.